Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen Legacy of Kane for the Sony PlayStation 1. In the last video, we defeated Azimuth the Planer in the Avernus Cathedral. And we have restored, I believe, five pillars now? Five pillars. And we need to head on down to Willendorf as part of our destination where we ha where we eventually have to take on William the Just and yeah we're gonna need an entire army to take on William the Just so we gotta get to work on getting that army and to do that we're going to be flying back to the beacon that we activated after beating Azimuth. I mentioned that one road near the cathedral that takes you behind it. It leads to virtually nothing. So I'm not even going there. There is a save spire in the maze, but that's about it. There's really nothing special about anything behind the cathedral at the back of it other than a bunch of demons who want to kill you. That's it. And now that we got that out of the way, it's time to start fighting back. And we're going to torch some unfortunate souls first and we're going to get some info the specter of Ariel led me to Willendorf if I was to defeat the next member of the circle I needed to understand his machinations with this vague advice in mind I set forth on the road to Willendorf and once we get to Willendorf, we'll be one step closer to facing William the Just, a.k.a. the Nemesis. That's the nickname I was trying to remember, and I couldn't remember it to save my life. But we need to head to the east, because that's the one place where we can go right now. And we have a ton of enemies that we can set a blaze and just torture. Now, this road, if you're taking it during the daytime, you'll see a lot of humans. And you can feed off of them if you need to. We have no reason to do so, but we do have to take the road east to Willendorf, and that means we have to deal with the scarecrows again. Which. I have only slightly looked forward to. Should I be using the shield? Maybe. But I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. Especially since I can do that. Now here, believe it or not, You're supposed to wait until you go further east and then south to push these boulders. But there's one thing that the game didn't rely on me doing. Me jiggling the D-pad while trying to push the rock to get behind this rock. Apparently the developers overlooked that or didn't catch that. And we have a secret. That consists of these four hearts of darkness. But that's not all, folks. We have even more where that came from. Because if you go south and to the east, that's smarted, you get to enter this cave. 
Not quite sure what's going on here, but it is kind of weird, at least to me. And if you go over here, you can trigger a switch that gets rid of this. Now, you can move past the switch, but if you do that, you can't take the bridge. But with the rock back in place, you can. Yeah, the game kind of messes with you by doing that. Anyway, we need to use Control Mind on this dude that's throwing knives at us. Floor switch right there. That opens up a door to the north. And there's nothing to get with that guy. So we might as well just make sure he ends up dead. And let's get some magic. Let's get an implode. And let us go further to the north through the door that we just opened to find... All this. Five implodes, ten pentalic of tarots, and fifteen hearts of darkness. And it's a good thing we got all of this. Especially when try, because the people that are in this cave, they do die if you mind control them. And if that happens, you would have to come back here a little bit later with another spell. Which I will mention when the time comes for now we have these two things gone from the list and I don't have to worry about them anymore now you're probably wondering how in the world I am supposed to get out of here well I'll go ahead and top up here just for the sake of it replace one with another same way I got in. Try to push the boulder, jiggle the D-pad, you'll eventually just feel your way out. And let's go ahead and get rid of this guy before he becomes a pain in the butt. And that reminds me. I want to check my status here. Okay, 86 out of 100, I'm still at count. We will... Find all those secrets eventually. I can't believe I've gotten this good at finding all the secrets. Just figuring things out and just making sure it can all happen. And we don't have a description for Willendorf yet, but we will eventually. For now, we will follow the road to the east. where everyone tries to kill us unsuccessfully and I'm going to murder everyone because I can and I forgot to look at that sign we will go back and do that oh <laughs> Well, apparently because I was holding left, I managed to get the uh, get this to pop back up. But we don't have a uh, description here yet either. And the best part is everybody responds. And everyone will respond here as well. That guy with the sword, he will attack, but the villagers here will not. And we just keep finding signs leading us to Willendorf and Avernus as we go through here. I may set some people on fire, but so be it. Strange, isn't it, Cain? That one cannot quite accept that which sustains him. You in your death, and me in mine. But death cannot reign in a world without life. And soon you will find the quest ahead of you is yours and yours alone. I can assist you no longer. And that's the last we hear of Mortanius. Which, 
it's kind of weird he says that he can assist us no longer because we've only heard from him three times and we've been doing all the work. But there is another beacon near here. I want to hit that, and then we want to go into this cave. I should probably stop moving the D-pad so I can show you where the cave is. Not far from here at all. And... And if I can get past this guy, I can hit the beacon, and I can get myself a shortcut to Willendorf. Willendorf, proud defender of the realm with its warrior elite and mighty ruler, King Othmar. The Lion Throne had once held my allegiance, but Willendorf's days of glory had passed. It was the last bastion against an unruly future. And while we may have the ability to fly there with the bat form, we're not doing that yet. There are still some things that I would like to do. And one of them is a cave that I mentioned. And we're going to go to that cave right now, after we get rid of this guy who tries to kill us. As we do. All right. First of all, we need to use Repel to get through this gauntlet of fireball shooters, and we're going to learn a new spell when we get in here. So it's time to go ahead and save our game, so that way we don't have to look for those secrets ever again, and also never have to deal with Azimuth ever again. So I'm surprised. So I'm so I'm so I would guess that you would have to. I guess you could actually go back and uh, go to an earlier point to save after you defeated Athamith, but if you kept going forward, this is probably going to be the first save spot you're going to find. Anyway. There are some things that we need to do. Such as this, get, get rid of this guy. And then we're going to use Control Mind. If I can remember to press R1 instead of R2. I seem to be getting a little better at that, but still. And we're going to mind control the guy on the right first. Hit the switch to open the door. Go through. And there's just got to be this guy ahead of you. Who will attack you and immediately kill you if you don't get rid of him. You want to get rid of him first. Ow. And there is... A bit of a gap that's a little wider than all the others between the four spiky orbs here. And we can refill our magic. Let's do that. And now to my control this soldier. And here, we hit this switch. We go through the door. We're going to kill the, this guy just to get him out of our way. And we're going to hit this panel on the north wall. Now, there's a gap here. We're going to take it. We're going to go to this door. And we're going to pick up two pentalists of tarot. And then we can press X and pretty much get rid of them. And now we can go through here. Now for this part. Another area where you can get a magic orb. I use my mist form just to get through here completely unscathed. Just do yourself a favor and use mist form there. Now here, you don't necessarily have to use it. Just pay attention to where the spike balls are. They just go back and forth. And here, they actually go in a square or rectangular pattern this time around. So you do want to be careful. And you do have zombies once you get, reach this bridge. And here, watch the spiky balls. You may get pushed forward a little bit. That's okay. Let's go to the north here. And let's see what there is to do. Okay. So there's a spell here. There's a rune triangle here. And there's some more magic here. Mind control this guy. Move north. With hit the switch. I can tear a creature's soul from its body, leaving its vacant flesh mine to control. And we have a new spell. But we can't get past these guys. Well, what are we going to do? 
Well, we have a new spell. I don't think we actually heard Kane very well, so we're going to learn about it. Spirit Rack. And this is Spirit Rack. The final spell of the game. With this spell, I can tear a creature's soul from its body, leaving its vacant flesh mine to control. And the best part about Spirit Rack is you can control any creature you want. Zombie? Done. Skeleton? Done. Human ghost? Done. So if you missed out on that one secret that leads to the five implodes, the ten pentalists of tarot, and the fifteen hearts of darkness, you can use this as your second chance to get that secret. Anyway, we have the spirit rack. We're going to use it. And if I can remember to press R1, I will do this. Now, I need to make sure I don't get smacked around so that way I can get the rune triangle. Want to make sure I don't accidentally hit the switch. And then I'm going to refill my magic. And there we go. And now we need to do some things. However, there's a way that I want to do this. I'm going to use Tenelik of Tarot. Blow up all these guys just to be safe. And I did it right. Cool. We're going to control the skeleton. Hit the switch. Get the two plays. And then we're going to press X and we're going to take the bridge. There are some enemies here, I think, but we can use them to open this path. There's a switch. After getting rid of the blood skeleton, we can hit that switch. And then we can take care of it just like that. Whoa! I want to make sure I set all these guys on fire so I don't have to deal with them a second time. And we're going to control this skeleton and hit this switch so we can go north. And I'm going to drink, get a drink of Coke. All right. We need to control this blood skeleton. Refill our magic. Hit the switch. We're going to take this bridge to the rune triangle. And we need to beat up some zombies. They are all incinerated. And now we need to control another blood skeleton. Might as well call them blood skeletons because they come back to life. And it's not what I wanted to do. I mean, I did want to get my magic back, but I did want to hit that switch, too. And if you want, you can control that blood skeleton over there to get two energy banks. But I have 99 of those. So that's not really a factor, and that's not really going to be important, at least for me. But you can do that if you want. And, uh-oh. Unless. No, 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 wrong one. We're going to get rid of everybody here, including that blood enemy. And then... We're going to go ahead and refill our magic here. And we're going to head to the east. And we're out of here. Now to do even more things. There's not going to be much else left for me to do. But I do want to go back outside and beat up some uh, 
beat up some humans so that way I can suck their blood and also refill my health. Okay. I am going to switch to the Iron Sword because it'll make it a little easier for me to attack everybody who just happens to be out here and be right for the picking. Because that's totally a thing that you can do in this game. And from here, we should go south, but I'm going to have me some fun here. And I'll just go ahead and drink from this guy for good measure. Okay, one more. And we're good. Okay. We're going to switch back to the fire sword here. And... We are going to do one more thing before we can close this video out. And the reason I'm switching to the fire sword here is because... of this guy right here. We're gonna set him ablaze. And then we're gonna learn about Willendorf. Mighty Willendorf had sliced open the belly of the earth, reaping a bounty of precious metals and unearthing ancient secrets. Of these secrets, I had heard of a tomb that contained an ancient forefather of King Otmar himself. Within the tomb, a fountain of blood would allow me to cast the most noble of illusions and gain entry to the city of the mighty lion. Interesting. Also, if you pay attention to the left end of the sign, you'll notice some... Um, I guess you could say some black pixels. I'm guessing that was supposed to be the remnants of the word Steinkenkrow on this sign. At least that's what I'm led to believe. J just by looks alone. And that's not what I wanted to do. Why did I press X? What is over here? Aside from things. Well, there's going to be another secret there, I would imagine. But we would need... Oh? Oh? No? Really? I can push these? Really? Well, I can get around that. And believe it or not, that's another secret. Now you're expected to have full strength from all three of the strength blood fountains to push this one. Just like the one with the two boulders from earlier that led to the Four Hearts of Darkness. But once again, the developers did not expect anyone to do this and to get through, get past it that easily just by trying to push a rock and failing and then jiggling the D-pad. But thankfully, we don't have to worry about doing that anymore because... The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come, drink from us. If we drink from this fountain, your strength has increased for our blood enhances. And we are now at full strength. We can push any rock that we want. And I should have just stayed there. I should have. You know what, let's go back and close the video out from there. The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come drink from us. Not with that black blood I won't. But anyway, let's see where we are in terms of secrets. If I remember correctly, we should have 88 by this point. Or 87. That's right, because... Bleh. I miscounted because I forgot about the one that I have yet to go to. 
And so, yeah, we are at the proper number. We are at 87, like we're supposed to be, not at 88 like I miscounted. We're, we're, we're good as far as Seekers are concerned. Don't worry about that. But we, now that we have full strength to push any bowler we want, there is a place much earlier in the game that I can get to. And we are going to go over there in the next video before I go exploring in and around Willendorf. So, join me next time where I go back to a much earlier point for a secret that has been long overdue. And then, we return here, we start exploring Willendorf, and we start back at making progress. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!